Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a special one speed putter throwdown that I'm going to do today where I'm going to compare three different very slow putters and I'm going to play around uh, here at TC Jester Park. I'm going to play select holes that I feel best allow me to demonstrate uh, these putters. But uh, I'm going to first uh, uh, throw the Innova Birdie. These typically come out in DX plastic, although historically they've come in Champion and other plastics, but typically it's, it's most commonly sold in DX plastic. Next up is the Lone Star Armadillo, and they have a variety of plastics that these are sold in, typically Victor 1 or 2, and sometimes they're, uh, they're, they're glow plastic. So I'm really happy to be throwing this uh, from Lone Star Disc. And uh, last but not least, we have the Castaplast Berg. This is the Bjorg, the, the Eric Oakley Tour Series <laughs> uh, Berg that I'm going to be throwing uh, with the end of the... Uh, with the infinite discs uh, stamp on it. But yeah, um, I'm gonna do this challenge slightly different than the way I see other channels do it. Typically they'll, you know, have a score with three different discs and they'll try to, you know, which one wins in the end and stuff like that. I'm basically a novice to recreational level thrower. And I don't believe I can throw in the way that a high skilled uh, player can throw. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a best throw round where I throw all three of these. I'm gonna take the best lie for them, or at least the best life for the video, so that I can demonstrate, you know, perhaps upshots or certain putts. But yeah, I'm going to use all three of these, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. First up, the end of a birdie. This technically has the least sharp of any rim. It's the most lid-like of these uh, discs, and probably the least modern design of these three discs that I've got here. And since I'm playing with my form, let form a little bit. Hopefully, I don't mess up these putter throws too much. But uh, let's go ahead and give this a throw. I put that a little bit on Anheuser, but thought out pretty decently. Let's try this Dillo, the Glow Dillo from Lone Star. There we go. I did the same thing. Okay, let's see if I can maybe throw with a little bit more hyzer. This also should technically be the most stable of these three, so hopefully that'll help me get the correct throw, so. There we go. Oh yeah, stable boy. And I threw it on hyzer. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the Berg, as this was the, the line that I was attempting to achieve the most, a hyzer line, although I went too aggressive. Let's go ahead and do an upshot with the Dillo here and just see what it does. Oh, I hyzered that. This may be correct with the birdie. There we go, that's a lot closer to what I wanted. Now let's do a correction with the Berg. Oh yeah, that's a great shot. Now, of the three of those, the Berg was essentially parked. This birdie, I would say, is sort of the middle of the road, um, you know, landing uh, area where I uh, ended up with. And then lastly, uh, just over there with the Berg. So let's go ahead and practice putting. Let's see how these feel and putt. I'll pull that to the right. There we go. Okay, they feel a little different. They're definitely not your typical putter. Okay, I've arrived at the next hole. Let's see what I can do with a putter. <laughs> that was the outside line. Let's see if I can correct with the Dillo. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Let me see what I can do with the Berg. Oh yeah. Two out of three good throws. Okay, so you don't want to do that or that. So instead of throwing, doing a putt, I'm gonna throw. Okay, this uh, Lone Star Armadillo has got me about as far as I've really got on this hole in the past. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a uh, couple soft bids. You see how those discs basically just sit? That's why you get these discs, is you don't want them to go too far. Very good. 
Alrighty, let's see if I can redeem myself <laughs> on the putting green. <laughs> All right, now I need to redeem myself in terms of uh, throwing. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the thing I'm trying to fix in my form is to come back a little bit further and throw a little bit more like that. So we're gonna see if I can put that together. I'm doing something weird with my arm when I throw. That one actually felt like a good throw. That'll be interesting to see what that looks like on film. But I'm trying to cut back from doing this when I throw. I'm trying to bring the disc out a little lower through like that. That was a really good throw too. Plus that reach back and coil, I'm trying to do a little bit more of that when I throw. Okay, so check this out. Both the Dillo and the Berg here got me about 200 feet. So for me to get 200 feet with these discs is really good for me. Okay, so since these two lies are essentially the same and I used the Dillo the last time, I'm gonna use the Borg's, the Berg's lie this time. We're just gonna try, I'm actually close enough to putt. This is the edge of my putting range. So it'll be interesting to see how close I can get these. Okay, that's great. Okay, two putts. Let me see what happens with the Berg. <laughs> okay, the Berg didn't get that far. Which really is why you purchased the Berg, don't you? <laughs> All right. I would consider this a success, getting a three on this hole with a putter at my skill level. All right, here's the next hole. I'm gonna, oh. He's actually safe for me. I can't reach him. <laughs> oh, I just burned that off to the side. You got tree love. <laughs> got tree love. <laughs> Fairway hit. <laughs> oh my God, that was a far throw for me. Good job. The armadillo, man. Yeah, yeah. It's great, great disc. <laughs> Okay. Get up there. Wow. Yes, that's that's a bird. All right, I'm playing. I'm playing through with with a group of people. Let's see how these putt. Okay. Let's see if I can correct. Nope. Pull it to the right. Let's see. There we go. That's that's more like it. Yay! <laughs> The thing to remember when you're watching this video is any sort of errors that you see are my own, not the disc. If I do something and I throw something a certain way and the disc does something different than anticipated, I'll let you know, but by default, just assume I did something wrong. All right, the next basket is over there. These new throws definitely feel different and I'm not able to do them consistently, but they give me a different sort of look at how to throw. That was too low. And I don't even think I'm doing this correctly based on the drills that I've been doing. There we go. That's a lot closer to what the drills were having me do, and that was a great throw. So actually, this birdie ended up nearly as far as this berg, but I'll say the berg actually had the intended line. I went on the inside with the birdie. Okay, so this is the edge of our putting range. So I can actually, with a typical putter, reach just shy of the, put of the basket from here. So for me, it doesn't benefit to try to practice putting here. Since I've got these discs, I wanna practice throwing and getting close to the basket. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Let's go ahead and get this birdie. Try this one first. Oh yeah, I love that. See how it kind of tailed off at the end? Slight bit of fade. There we go. Same thing there, you can see it kind of fading towards the end. 
Those two are in the bullseye. Last but not least, let's try the Berg. Pretty much showed maybe a touch more stability as it is fading. All great th uh, next to the basket. So basically all these are about 10 feet away from the basket. Okay, let me show you what my form is supposed to look like by doing this drill. So it's supposed to look like this, kind of like that, and then something along those lines. But putting it together in an actual throw has been the most challenging part. I'm actually going to try to go out that way a little bit. But I'm doing something with my arm when I do that, so. Okay, let's try this again with the Dillo. That's kind of it, but still I'm doing something with my wrist. And then I'm gonna try one more with the Berg. There we go, that actually looks like, like the intended throw. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at about 90 feet, maybe 100 feet from the basket. So let's see what I can do to get close. Pull that to the right a little bit, something I seem to be doing a lot. There we go, that's a lot closer. All right, now let's try with the Borg, the Berg. There we go, that's what I want. So the last two throws were what I planned on. Okay, let's see what these putts look like. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, this is a longer hole than I expect to play, but I'm gonna give this a shot using these. I'm gonna try a more traditional throwing for me because I can't master this form. That felt really good. Maybe I just need to play closer to the style that I'm used to playing and do slight corrections. Not bad. Okay, now we're gonna try the Berg. That one felt the best. So maybe not surprisingly, I got the most distance with this birdie putter, the Berg, just about the least distance tied with the Lone Star Dillo. I'm gonna go ahead and take that lie. Okay, so from here, I'm approximately 120 feet away. So again, I'm gonna try a couple up shots here. I'm just gonna play a little bit more normal to way I, the way I usually play, because it's a little more natural. Heck yeah. I consider all three of those to be good throws. They're all about the same distance from the basket. The Berg maybe a couple feet closer. Add a yip. I got lucky there. That was a legit putt. Okay, I'm gonna revert to my old form and just see if I can do some things right with it. Pretty good throw. I felt jammed up, which is what happens with my typical throw. That was pretty good. A little high, but it did an S curve and landed. Well, that was the best feeling throw of the three. Okay, so even though the Berg felt the best, the Dillo was the best throw. That's just outside of about 15 feet. Oh yeah, even closer. And I'm putting a little bit of juice on these. Let's put maybe a slight bit less. Oh, perfect. All right. Okay. 
All right, let's try another. That's quite possibly the best putter throw of my life somehow. I don't wonder what I did correctly. Okay, that said, I'm probably still about 90 feet away. Okay, pin high, maybe about a few feet past it. Same. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so all these are pretty close to the basket, but this birdie is the closest. Okay, let's keep working on form. I felt jammed up while doing that. Okay, this is a really good throw that I felt good about, so I'm gonna go ahead and try some approaches towards the basket. Those are both very close to the basket. I'm happy with all three of those. So yeah, all three of these were good putts. Okay, let's see if I can get another good rip at this birdie. I don't care what that tree says, that was a great throw. You'll see I deliberately corrected by pouring that down a tiny bit. Pouring the coffee. Okay, so this Dilla was the best throw. So now I've got some 60 to 70 foot approaches. Oh yeah, right behind the basket. I put too much hyzer on that. That was an accident on my part. And that was a run. So what can I tell you about these low speed putters? First of all, they really highlight form issues. If you make a mistake in throwing, they'll let you know. I'm an advocate for using touch with putting putters for upshots, but these can help you if you haven't yet developed the finesse that you want with shorter distance throws. Secondly, because they're so slow, they limit the damage from form errors better than most discs. If you put too much power on it or too much Anheuser or Heiser, they'll give you a better chance to recover from mistakes. You can also be more assertive with your runs at the basket or approaches to it. Lastly, they're a lot of fun to throw. They started out as catch discs and are still great for warm-up throws, but they also allow you to enjoy the game more by having these tools at your disposal. That does it for my one speed putter challenge. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already as I have more fun disc golf content on the way. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.